In this tutorial, we will be covering the many editor additions. Hotkeys for copy, paste, and cut have been added. These new hotkeys make creating a text within the mini editor possible. The hotkeys are Control C is copy, Control V is paste, Control X is cut, and the ever popular Control Z for undo. You will need a saved blank layout to follow along during this tutorial. I've already saved a blank layout and placed it on the EDIUS 8 timeline. When you double click the layout, the mini editor will open. Since this is going to be an animated project, uncheck the As Still Image tick box. Look at the bottom left corner of the mini editor and you will see the Show Hide Library button. Click that. At this point, take the time to resize and position the GUI for ease of access. Next to the library button is an icon with a T on it. Clicking this will toggle between the text box and the library panel. Clicking the Show Hide Library button will close the bottom panel. Below the Show Hide Library button, you will see a text box with the typical Save and Open icons. The gear icon is where you click to change fonts and text size. This text size adjustment is only for the text box area. Go to the text box and create a title. You can select the title by either highlighting it manually or by pressing the Select Current Line Text button. However, if your title has two lines, you will have to highlight the title manually. If you select the title by manually highlighting it, to copy the title you must press Ctrl C on your keyboard. Look at the last active button to the right of the gear icon. This is the Select Current Line Text button. This button selects the title, but instead of pressing Ctrl C to copy, you right click within the text box and select the copy function from a menu. Next to the Current Line Text icon is a grayed out button. This will be addressed later in this tutorial. Using either method, select and copy your title. Whether you copied manually or used the Select Current Line text button, go up to the Edit screen and place your cursor anywhere within the black area. Left-click the Edit screen to activate it. Press Ctrl-V to paste the title into the Edit screen. You will also notice that the title is mounted into the layout on the upper left side of the panel. Drag the title into the open area of the edit screen. Resize the title and then center it. The easiest way to do this is to turn on the cross line overlay. To bring up the cross line overlay, right click the edit screen and select the view cross line option. Once the cross line is visible, Grab your title and drag it so that the four center points on the bounding box line up with the cross lines. Remember the grayed out button above the text box? What it does is replace your current text. So if you realize you have an error, go to the text box and correct your error. Either select manually or press the select current line text button. After the title is selected, the grayed out button will become active. Click this and the existing title will be replaced. If you added or removed characters, you may need to adjust the on-screen centering of the title. 
There is a more direct way to fix a title though. Go to the upper left corner of the panel and you will see a rectangle with your title. If your title is selected, the box will be green. If not, just click it to select it. All you have to do is type the fix in the box. That's it. Once again, check the title's on-screen alignment before moving on. The mini editor can also add objects, shaders, images, and movies, all without having to open the main VizTitle GUI. Let's add a shader to this title. Open the Shader Style Library section and select the red shader for the new color of the title. To keep the same font, hold the shift key and double click the red shader. Just double clicking the shader will change the title to the default font. Go to the movie header and click it. Select one of the spinning globes. To apply this object, either drag it to the edit screen, double click it, or right click and select apply. Once you have it centered, move the globe behind the title. To do this, go to the header and click the Move Bottom button. That finishes our title. Click the Hide Show Library button to close the library section. To close out of the mini editor and return to Edius, simply click the X in the upper right hand corner of the panel. When the prompt to save appears, Select Yes. For the most part, this will be used as a quick method to add or correct titles, change colors, or add objects. By adding the ability to create new titles, the mini editor can now handle jobs that, in the past, would have required opening the full VizTitle editor.